Shine one. Um, I'll take one of their magnets to see. Which is going to be a good to be guys, as you can see. And this time it's of 2,898 euros. So, going to need to do some work. I'm make sure I put in some uh, good loads. So, right. I'll go for the Mercedes. Uh, looking at the um, earlier Actros, which is the Nuggle sleeper. Choosing the left hand drive purely because um, the majority of the runs are going to be in Europe, so that you know on that side, so uh, the majority of the world will be in the right position, uh, not so bad in all the UK. Uh, so, yeah, move on to colors, um, not a lot to choose from. We'll be looking at something I'm trying to make my own skin. I have been playing about with it, but I haven't spent the time to actually see if it would work. But I will work it out and I will make a skin for my company. Uh, but looking through, I do quite like the silver, but again, we went with the uh, black horse, as they call it. So it's basically black. Uh, now, just having a look at the external accessories uh, roof bars, um, or light bars. So I'll go with the, uh, the San Bruno top one. Uh, yeah, I'll do go with the top one and then go. For a full set of uh, Moxie round spots to run along the top. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few little accessory areas for places you can have accessories. As I get further up in my level, more become available. Uh, you can do accessorize on the inside, but then you can download an accessory pack, which you can tweak and you can actually download mods and that a little bit later on. bars, don't really go with those, I think this is round about all I go for, I don't really do like, uh, I think I do like bread for the tyres, I don't think I do this one, um, or do I, I know I leave a standard wheel, I'm sure I leave a standard wheel somewhere, I don't really, um, advantage at the moment, it's a bit more selection, um, yeah I do, I upgrade to this slightly better skin, better fuel economy, later on um, but at this point in time I just have the standard available I really should have got rid of that curb wheel I'm not really going to use it a lot in this review but um, yeah still looking at there's another side mirror I look at it but I leave it um, I think later on I'll probably do remove that or I will remove that I'm not too sure a uh, little bit of an outside mirror I'm not sure what that is when you're in the game spots don't seem to work so I don't know whether I've got a setting on there or something I need to look at. But um, yeah, it's working quite nice. I can see flash. I need to upgrade it. So now we go off and I'll put in my depot. Um, and uh, it's our first shot. So now we get to see it. And I chose Dover. Um, as if you've, if you've watched the previous one, you'll actually get as my home base. So I'm going to select the one. I can upgrade this later on. But um, yeah, here we go. My little shack. service bay and uh, here we go so now we're going to go here's another as now I've opened up there's a few more extras that pop up not too worried about those uh, we'll quickly speed through basically most of the things that were there um, thank god right now we uh, got to find our first job in our new unit um, here we go fake market uh, turn down external contracts and uh, we'll quickly go through the ones that I've been doing in somebody else's unit. So we'll go with the fake market. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm looking at that. As this is a, a voiceover.
Canada, which I remember when I did. So here we go. Um, there's a list of jobs to write there. I'll put my home depot. My home here in Dover, so I'll get things out of there. And uh, there's a list of who it's from and where it's going to. If you click on them, it comes up with trip distance, time, and then uh, any other information you might expect to get on the dates of the top there. The first one, I'm going to choose to stay in the UK because now I'm on the main track that I pay for my ferries. So that will come out of my uh, bottom line. So whatever the job is paying, I can then deduct whatever the ferry costs are going to be. The other thing I'm going to put in there for Europe, which I'll probably go over again, is that you have to start checking tolls. But you won't know what tolls you're going to get until you start doing the route. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to have to swallow it at some point and pay for a ferry. I'm probably going to do the one out of Calais because it's about the cheapest to get on the train. Um, but, yeah, the first one I'm going to take, I'm going to go to Dover to Sheffield. Get some maple syrup, 17 tonnes. dry day when there's not no rain. <laughs> Just uh, just pulled off the bay. drivers to choose from to employ.
don't mind the few units I have to be fair. Especially when I talk to you, don't you dare try that. Because it comes off the cock. But if you don't mind getting a unit, I'll do what I can to be fair. Not the cheap. It's just my knowledge. Sorry, Charlie. 
hello, I'm back. Uh, we've made it to Sheffield now. Right, just making our way to our drop-off depot. Hopefully this will be a little bit louder than the first narration at the beginning of the video. Um, I'm trying to struggle with setups. Uh, my first voiceover video. So anyway, here we go. We're pulling into the depot. Uh, it's a bay park, so reasonably easy. Uh, nice big yard to turn around in. Uh, there we go. I can skip and have an auto park, but you know, I like doing simulators, and uh, like I say, I, I will park them. I will normally go on the external view, but there are a few where I will stay inside if they are apparently you know, really, really easy. There we go. To the outside, uh, quick look round, make sure I've got loads of room. Officer lock, start the trailer coming round, straighten her up, and then just basically just nice and easy does it, slowly in, no rush, uh, you want to give it no as minimal damage, and then uh, once that's done, drop her off and see what we get, hopefully we get a good result for our journey. No real major catastrophes on the way up, a couple of uh, wonders here and there, we'll try and get used to this joystick, or obviously joystick, joypad. Very much like a, a, an Xbox PlayStation pad, uh, a, a steering wheel would be a hell of a lot easier. Well, I say it's a lot, hell of a lot easier. I think it'd be easier doing it not resting on a, a little stick. Uh, slightly easier than keys, though, because uh, loads of keys. Uh, I don't think it is. There we go. Straight in, nice and straight, green. Drop the legs, and then uh, we'll go off and see what we get when we're done. There we go. Job complete. Excellent, and then we get all the bits, proficiency bonus, nice distance delivery bonus, because we've got a point in there, and the base, and I level up to level 6, so I'm going to choose the point in another area, so there we go, we'll uh, do that, I'm just reading to what we're doing, the XP's and stuff, and there we go, continue into the skills chart, so as you can see, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm this is job so I've already got two in long distance one in high value one in fragile and then one in just in time and now I'm running my own truck as you see I choose eco driving this is actually going to give me a bit of a reduction or a saving in the fuel because now I've got to pay for my own fuel so I'm probably going to get a couple in this before I start going back and uh, leveling up the others ADR probably going to wait till I probably at least get two in each of them, if not full in distance, obviously in eco drive. So, anyway, I've applied that, and then uh, we're going to go off and have another look for the next job. And on that, I will see you on the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> 